But now let's move on to some Call of Duty, which is their last week of the qualifiers for their major four. Their homestead would take place in New York. And right now, we got a lot of different teams on top of the standings in this one, such as New York, Boston, London. Let's see if some of those guys can keep it up to make bracket play. Let's take a look at it. Which just mean they want to push this hard and fast. They tried not only to take these players out, but then rotate to this next hill straight away. And it all comes down to judging it. You can already see a lot of players slipping the net. It's. Oh my god, oh my god. 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 He's just running about. He does not want to get pinned down by this phase team. It looks like they might commit to A here. He's going to pop out at the wrong time. Afro, did they see him? I think they did. There's a chance from a BZ. And Afro says, thank you very much. Selium, I think, also saw him at the same time. And it's chaotic. And Zero is going to go for this one straight away. And Selium somehow gets away from it as well. And not going to be able to get that turn off. Gizmo and Zero get it as well. They're back into Afro. it. And Afro going to be on the flag. He's looking for the pass. Finds a two-piece. And they're now coming on the spawn. And Afro's going for the chow. Because of course. For Kabutsu, but if you're Boston Breeze, the main focus has to be just your hold percentage. They are second in rotation, fourth in hold. And it's Methods doing the work. We haven't seen Methods on the Voodoo Half Point do quite this well in a little while, but he's back on four. Oh, but there is no reinforcements near, no trade. Gammy goes down inside last alive. That's a gun. But they have to get past Vivid, and somebody has snuck. It's going to be bad, of course it is. He's found his way through, and so has the entirety of Ultra. Big play. Big play right there from Bears Attack. Two versus two, and Bats is in trouble. TJ is ready for him, and he's just stuck, and he's going to get taken down. Grid, Paco on point, as good as it gets for the opening of the game. Got him to bed. That hot boy says. Down by 40, need a good break, and well, he's off for LAPs, but in all honesty, only for the final 25 seconds, and that's only if they can get it. Nate's coming through, late Chow's coming through, just for a lineup for Octane. But he Flex tries to find something. Draza is going to keep the play going. Crim's in next. Will he be able to take down Draza? Here he goes, and the fight does get it. Kismet gets into the battle a little bit late, and it's a massive bit of work out of Crim. The goat's on a four, and the time ticket now for New York. Oh, dude, make it, make it number five, thinking about the glide, but honestly, this is just phenomenal. Spot awareness coming out of the subliners, literally from start to finish on this hill, and Krim now making moves. When the pressure comes in, the nades fly through. He dips to down low. And LA Thieves, it looks like they're gonna read it, but doesn't make Krim. your gunfight any easier. Another two-piece for Krim. I believe, like, his fourth of the game, the glide. I guess Kismet eventually falls, but the trades do come through, and Two versus three on this retake. A little bit of time. And actually, that ends up working out perfectly. 2v2. Then he makes a shot. Saves his teammate. Ball on Hydra. Here comes Hydra. Here he goes. Less than 20 seconds. Keeping it safe. Oh my. And draws against both of them. Oh my. What a round. LA Thieves. Yeah, that thing tears up. Woo. Definitely going to be looking forward to next week when that bracket play come in. Different teams, different faces that I'm not used to covering. So, to me, definitely going to be lit. Hope it's lit for y'all too.